Hey everybody, this is Aroica. Thanks so much for coming by, and today we have a fantastic new update. I knew this was going to happen because when you heard that Julius was going to be taken out of the VIP portal, you knew that they were going to have to replace it with something, right? And they certainly did. Now we have the introduction of a brand new, and I'm going to call her my goth archer, because I think she's pretty badass right now, uh, but introducing Indigo, and she is now going to be... Um, a rogue uh, archer, but with this whole gothic death theme going on. So anyway, I was lucky enough to unlock her today. Um, I summoned her from the VIP portal, and I wanted to share that with you so you could take a look at it and uh, see if you wanted to pick one up for yourself. Pick her up for yourself. Uh, so let's scroll down here, and let's go to And Here she is. So she will come as a three-star out of the portal, um, and currently... If you look at this, she is uh, exclusively from the VIP portal. I am sure that at some point they will tie, loosen up the reins on that. But being a new hero right now, this is the only way you can get her. And, of course, you know, they'll do what they did with other heroes where they give you a, a chance to buy tokens or get tokens uh, from dungeons and try to work your way towards her uh, and, you know, working your way up through the... The star ranks, of course, but out of the VIP portal, straight out of the box, if you will, uh, she comes as a three star. So let's take a look at her. And I, by the way, I, I do have enough for an ascension, and I think, I wonder if she's going to change a little bit when we ascend her, if she gets up to a little bit different graphic. We'll see. Anyway, let's take a look at some of the stats real quick. Um, obviously, um, she is a water. I know, I know I call her dark, but uh, she's technically a water, but I like to think of her as a... I almost wish she was a dark energy type now that I think about it. I kind of wish she was dark energy, but that's okay. So obviously she's going to have 30% uh, versus fire units and minus 25 for nature. Typical water um, elemental differences there uh, in terms of, uh, you know how they get their advantage and disadvantages based on the nature of the two of the elements. But let's take a look at this first one. So the first trait, she's a fast attacker. Yep, fast rogue. So she'll be right up there with Willow. And then she also has a, um, a real stunner option or a passive trait, which is a chance to daze on basic attacks, which is really cool. Depending on what the percentage of it is, uh, would be pretty. It's pretty nice to be able to do that. This means there's some really good PvP uh, applicability here. At least I think so. Just looking at these stats, anyway. Uh, so let's see. Uh, so we have her basic attack, which right now at level one, no, no big deal. I just literally got her probably about an hour ago. I just wanted to get the video. I was out actually doing some shopping, and then I decided to take a couple of rolls for it, and ended up picking it up. Um, and then, of course, we have Rapid Fire, uh, which is a three ranged attack, physical attacks for 100, well, it, right now 100 base because it's uh, tier one, uh, and a 20% for a chance of an extra attack. So I think that's awesome. I haven't, we're going to test this out here in a little bit. Uh, I just wanted to show you that particular piece. And then for the first Ascension, which I feel fortunate enough to have at least the first one, uh, she will get another um item called uh, Chilling Barrage, which is a ranged physical attack on all enemies. I'm assuming this is very similar to Willow's multi-target attack, um, but this one comes with the ability to chill, uh, with the chance to chill, uh, which will, of course, make them lose a turn. And then we have the Critical Energy, which I think is nice. Just like Nub Nub has a chance to heal on a crit, she has a chance to boost energy on a crit. I can only imagine how awesome this is going to be in PvP. I mean, I don't know, you know, well, let's just take a look at her crit percentage real quick. Um, so at level uh, whatever, well, so right now she's only going to be level 1, uh, for, excuse me, 14. So I haven't even done anything to level her up. And uh, let's see, I am uh, 54 right now. So this will, of course, go up. Um, and in fact, I'll do that while we're on this video. I'll uh, we'll take a look at that real quick. Let's see what we have here. Let's just get her leveled up so we can actually look at something a little more. We'll just use some of these real quick. Get her up to my area so we can see some stats that are at least a little more. We'll burn up some of these because I'm getting close to the cap. So this will at least um, get some of these taken care of. And get them rid of them. I raid so much and do 
so much of the loot keys. Uh, this is taking too long. <laughs> Let's just cheat a little bit more. Maybe burn up one of those. Two of those. We'll do a couple of these. Get rid of them. All right, so now she's at the max. Now let's go take a look, at least the max for me anyway. Um, and crit chance is 14%. So really still on par with other stuff. Uh, nothing I, that's probably going to go up once we do the ascension. So let's take a look at that now. There we have first ascension ability. Let me go ahead and do that. That's awesome. Uh, she did, so she gets the little cloak now. That's so awesome. I think that's cool. They needed a. I, I kind of wanted this to be a dark energy or a, you know, an, a type of character because I thought that would be more fitting. But honestly, the water team needed this more than anything. So, um, let's go down and take a look at the crit. No, it's still 14%. Okay, so that doesn't change at this point. And then of course we all have the chilling barrage available. So, um, in any case, looks like second ascension. Uh, we'll get a ranged physical shot for, at least at this level, 720 base damage, and will slow the target. So by will slow the target, I'm guessing that that is 100% will happen, not chance for, but will slow the target. So that's really good. And then, um, you know, I guess this is a little little heavy, but you're talking eight of the Mind's Eye Evos and two of the Infinity Evos. So I would say that's on par for the second ascension. And then, of course, uh, you'll need to get the rest of the stars to get everything back up again. And I think I'm mistaken here. I think it's when you get to, and I am mistaken, I should go back and correct something. And the ascension has nothing to do with the stats, really. Um, well, I was expecting this to go up for some reason. And what I meant to say was is that that should go up to 16% with four star. And I believe it's 18% uh, for the uh, fifth star. So I, I apologize for that. In any case, this is Indigo. Um, and from my particular vantage point right now, I think this is well worth um, well worth it. I think she's awesome. The water team really did need this. Um, I think it's going to be good. And I will uh, you know, try to use her a little bit and get back with you about... Um, you know how she performs, but I think she's going to do really well. And I personally love uh, Archer characters; are my favorite. I played World of Warcraft for almost nine years, and I've always, you, you know, had an Archer as my main character. So, uh, whenever I see this kind of stuff, I think it's awesome. But anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the preview. Um, good luck if you are trying really hard to unlock her so you can have her on your own team. And um, if you're not and you just don't want to spend the gems on it, I would definitely hold off and wait then because I am sure that Big Fish is going to allow some kind of promotion to come out or where the tokens will be available in the dungeons and you can work them that way to try to unlock them and, and work your way up the star. Either way, I think this is a cool addition personally. I really like some of the abilities that are on here. I think they're cool. Some of the stats that she has or the traits rather the passive traits are cool um and i and again i think the water team needed it anyway i hope you enjoyed the video um please take a moment to subscribe and uh consider liking or leaving a comment if there's anything you'd like to contribute or any ideas for a video you'd like to have i'll be certain to take that under advisement and uh, see what i can do for you i hope you guys have a great day